Here we have the moon. It's 1 p.m. And it does not appear to be solid. And it's only a couple miles away from the sun. <clears throat> Very close. All the birds getting a charge in the tree. Electricity. <laughs> Just like our lungs. Electricity tree. So just doing a little uh, stargazing tonight. Getting in a positive space. It's important to do that. There's a lot of negativity, a lot of negative charge. And so I am um, dancing with the stars. <laughs> thinking more about them being um, schematics in the sky. All the constellations, all the lines that connect all the stars are misdirection. If we connect the dots a little differently, they are schematics for technology, architecture, free energy. And what a great place to put schematics and the stars they never change so you got your blueprint right there for all generations to come
Notice how it's drifting. See how it's drifting to the left? Look at that. It's flying forward, but it's also drifting. And that it would be uh, where I'm standing here, that would be drifting east. Flying south, drifting east. Still drifting. Drifting east. So interesting. even seems to be shifting. Here's one flying north, due north. A little harder to tell if that one's drifting at all, but it does not appear to be drifting east like they do when they fly south. Flying north seems to be holding its course pretty well. And when they fly south, they drift. Let's see here. Oh, he's actually churning. He's changing his course a little. See that curve? Going east. It's turning east. Across a flat sky. Planes are flying across a flat sky. Yeah, he's turning. Look how slow he's going. It looks like he's going as fast as cars do. Sixty-five miles per hour. Look how slow he's going. If that.
birds don't fly tree to tree. They sail. Finding the next power station to charge. They're not resting. They're charging. Collecting the electrical charge from the trees for flight. sky is flat. It only looks curved because of our eyes. So I'm trying to find a good spot to get some footage of some planes. This is the airport. It's hard to tell on the camera, I guess, but all those hills are built up around it. There's all this coverage. So, really can't see the airport from uh, the road. Keep it pretty well hidden. Can't be seen what's going on. There's no uh, vantage point of the runway from the surrounding area of this airport. It's all built up and then sunken down inside. Side, it's like hilly all around it, so it's kind of sitting down in, in like a bowl can't see it. They do not want us seeing these planes, how slow they are coming in for landing and how slow they are taking off. They tell us, you know, 150, 200 miles per hour at takeoff and landing. They're going more like 85, 90. Because they're lying about distance perception you know they want us thinking we're living on something bigger than we are so we feel smaller than we are it's about controlling our ego and they do it with our perception Sky is flat. It only looks curved because of our eyes.